Yo, what's up, Ecan fam? This your boy Mike, back again with another video. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you to all of my supporters. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like my content. And most important, hit the little bell on the, I think it's on the left side. It should be like right there. Hit the little bell. When you do that, you get notified every time I upload a new video so you can stay with me on my journey. Um, I want to give a shout out to my guy, Brandon King. Right now I'm wearing his clothing line, which is called Hubris Society. Uh, you can see, let me see, get that in there. Uh, let me see, uh, right there. Hubris Society, dope logo. But I want to say shout out to him. Uh, they have a clothing line. I went and got this jogger, 35 for the pants, 35 for the top. It fit me very well, as y'all can see. I look damn good in this, so. Yeah, shout out to him. But today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and ideas on how to get as, as lean as possible. So I'm going to call this, this is going to be part one. I'm going to call it my road, no, my guide to getting lean, road to six pack city. There, boom. I just came with that up. I just came up with that on the spot. So yeah, my guide to getting lean, road to six pack city. I'm going to be trying to achieve a six pack again, get as lean as possible for my cousin's wedding. Shout out to my cousin Twin and Mo. They going to Jamaica in July and he asked me to be the best man. I was extremely grateful and, I, and I'm excited. I've never been out the country. Uh, I got to get the passport and all that stuff. Never been out the country. So I'm very excited for that. So I want to be in the best shape as possible. I want y'all to get in the best shape as possible for the spring and the summertime so we can look the best we ever look. So in this video, I'm going to be giving y'all um, my keys to getting lean as possible. These are exercises and cardio methods that I used three years ago to achieve the six pack that y'all seen in the thumbnail. So first off, I want to say in order to lose weight, you have to sweat. And when you sweat, you burn calories. So getting your heart rate up, no matter what you're doing, whether it's um, lifting weights, body weight exercises, um, speed walking, whatever you're doing, if your heart rate is up, you sweating and you burning calories, which is essential to losing weight. So I want to talk about, first I want to talk about the cardio portion of my workouts. I, I always, I've always worked out for about 90 minutes. I work out five times a day, sometimes seven days a week. I mean, five times a week, sometimes seven days a week. Um, about a month and a half ago, I implemented cardio and ab exercises to the end of my workouts. So I'm in the gym for about two hours every time I go to the gym. Again, I don't expect um, a lot of people to do that. If you just simply want to lose weight, you can go in there and bust out cardio for 30 minutes or an hour and be gone. As long as you really focusing on what you eating, which is most important when it comes to dieting. If you dieting, you want to watch what you put in your body. Keep the grams of fat low and put positive fuel in your body, which is vegetables, fruits, lean meats into your body. That will give you fuel. So when you go to the gym, you feel good about yourself. And when you wake up, you'll see the changes that you want. So, yeah, the cardio portion of my workouts, I do four to five exercises. OK, so I run a mile. I do the elliptical. I do hit cardio. For those of you who don't know what hit cardio is, it's timed increments of uh, sprinting and then walking. So I'll sprint for 30 minutes to a, I mean, 30 seconds to a minute and then I'll walk to uh, catch my breath, you know, brace myself for the next uh, run. And I just sprint, walk, sprint, walk. And I do that for at least 10 minutes. All of my cardio exercises, I do for at least 10 minutes. So let's go. Um, one mile, running for one mile. I usually stay between six miles an hour and seven miles an hour. I can run a mile in under seven minutes. No, in under eight minutes when I'm running at seven miles an hour. So again, you don't have to do that. You can run at five miles an hour, four miles an hour. As long as you running, as long as you getting your heart rate up and you sweating, that means you burning calories, okay? I want to 
burn that into everybody's mind. If you sweating, you burning calories. The more you sweat, the more calories you're going to burn, the closer you are to your goal. Okay. So I want to keep that in mind. So I've covered the mile, the elliptical, which is probably the most popular exercise out of all the exercise machine, well, out of all the cardio machines in the gym, um, hit cardio and the bicycle. I use these uh, four cardio methods to burn weight, I mean, burn calories after I work out. So, like I said, I work out for at least, I mean, I do cardio for at least 10 minutes after every workout. I'm usually able to burn anywhere between 100 calories and 170 calories on those four exercises after I work out. Again, uh, don't measure your your calorie uh your calorie burns to mine everybody's different so i don't expect everybody to go as hard as i do or you can go harder than me you know whatever you want to do just make sure you sweat okay those four cardio exercises is what i uh did um 3 years ago to achieve my six pack like i said i did one of those after every workout okay so i did that for about I say five months and I had a six pack, uh, you know, before I knew it, not even trying to, I was just trying to lose weight and I wanted my, my midsection, my core to get stronger. So that's why I implemented the, uh, the ab exercises that I'm about to talk about in my, um, in my workouts as well. So after I work out, after I worked out, I would do two ab exercises. Okay. I'm going to give you all four because these are my four favorite and I do every, um, these four exercises, I do four sets of 25, which is um, 25 reps four times, which is 100 reps total. And since I do two exercises, that's 200 reps a day just on abs. So the first exercise, which is my favorite, is uh, knee raises. Knee raises is so important to me because it really got rid of the lower, the lower belly fat. And for those of you who have a six pack or trying to achieve a six pack, when you look in the mirror and, and you know you flex your six pack, you'll notice the lower abs are the hardest to see. Why? I don't know. But I was able to get rid of um, my lower belly fat by doing knee raises or or leg raises. You know that's the hardest exercise to do because when you get into the higher reps. Um, it burns, man. It, it burns for like days at a time. There was days where my abs would be so sore that I would be at work or at home just mad that my mid that that my core is still sore. And it's been um, 24 hours since I did my abs. So, you know, after a while, I was able to get used to it. That's why I, I got up to the four sets for 25. At first, I was doing just four sets of 10, which is only 40 reps. And I was slowly able to move up to where I was able to do four sets of 25, no matter what ab exercise I was doing. So let me see. I covered uh, knee raises. My next ab exercise that I would do is the ab rolling machine. That's the little uh, wheel with the two handles and you roll out and you roll in. Um, I love that exercise because for those who can't do knee raises or my dog Richie sneezing, but for those of you who can't do knee raises, um, the ad roller machine is a way to stretch out your entire core and flex your muscles at the same time. If you have trouble doing the ad roller, there's nothing wrong with rolling all the way out, pausing with your with your belly on the floor, and then getting um bracing yourself and then rolling back up regardless you working your abs regardless as as long as you fully extending out you working your man look at that man sorry as long as you um fully extended and then, and then rolling back up you uh you know hitting your abs so again you don't have to do four sets of 25 like me you can do four sets of 10 or three sets of 20 what, what made it easier for me was um I would switch up my count. So instead of counting out 25 reps straight, no matter what I was doing, whether it's knee raises, arrow machine, instead of counting out 25 straight reps, I would break it down. So I would do 
two sets of 10, then a set of five or four sets of five and then one set of, you, you know, just, you know, play with the count. You want to make it fun for yourself and you want to think about it. Um, think about the count as you trying to end it as soon as possible. So whether that be counting um, threes, like, you know, one, two, three, that's that's one and then count it again. That's two. And before you know it, you know, you had, you know, 25. So play with the count. That's a method that I do just to shorten up the time that I'm actually doing the exercise. So let me see. I've covered, um, I've covered knee raises, the ab roller. Oh yeah. The oblique machine. The oblique machine is a machine where you sit down on a the platform. They got two pads, one pad, two pad, and you put your chest against it and you, and you twist your, um, and you twist your legs. I know if you go to the YMCA's, every YMCA got that machine, I think. So the oblique machine is what I use, again, to hit the outside abs. The obliques are the little muscles right on the outside of your rib cage, well, right on the inside of your outer rib cage. Um, I did that, like I said, four sets of 25. And that slowly became one of my favorite ab exercises because it's easier than knee raises and it's easier than the ad rolling machine. You know, like working out for an hour and a half. Once I'm done working out, you know, my body is taxed and I'm dreading the ab portion of my workout and I'm dreading even more the cardio portion of my workout. So, you know, don't get me wrong. There's days where I would uh, work out, do my ab exercise and be like, man, I can't do cardio, man. So I would just ride the bike slowly or do the elliptical slowly, you know, whatever. So, um, let me see, exercise four. Oh yeah, the ab machine. Everybody know this machine, you know, they got the two handles. You grab the handles and you just do the ab, uh, and you do crunches. That's all you do. Four sets of 25. If you want to shorten it up, you can do two sets of 50, whatever you want, however you want to count it, just make sure you're getting them 100 reps in. That's what I did for abs. Like I said, those four exercises and uh, those four ab exercises and those four cardio methods was all I did to achieve my six pack. So hopefully I can get there again and hopefully y'all take some of my tips that I used and implement it into your workout or if you're about to get a gym membership, get a gym membership, do those things that I told y'all. And hopefully you get some of the results that you've been looking for. You know, you got any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comment section. If uh, if we friends on Facebook, don't be afraid to inbox me or comment on, on one of my posts. And I'm going to help you any way that I can. You know, if you see me in the gym, you got a question, come up and ask. I'm a very antisocial person. Like, I don't like talking, uh, I don't know, to like people in the gym, even people that I know. Like, there's people who I see. Um, out and about and I know they know me well I know that I know them but I'm not sure how familiar they are with me so I just don't go say hi don't think I'm trying to be rude or anything I just don't like going up and uh I don't know you know talking to people shout out to my cousin Mr. T he said in order for me to take my channel to the next level that's something that I got to do so you know hopefully I'm gonna work on that for the year you know 2020 and it'll show in my content that I'm putting out to y'all so that's pretty much it, man. Um, I'm 14 minutes in. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, hopefully, you've seen the clips of all of my videos that I put, that I made in this video, giving y'all demonstrations of the exercises. And like I said, hopefully, y'all can implement that into y'all workouts or into y'all lifestyle, whatever y'all are doing. So part two is going to be the dieting portion of my, um, of my guide to getting lean. Road to Six Pack City. That's going to be the dieting portion. What I'm going to be eating for the four months I'm going to be dieting. How many calories I'm going to be eating. How many grams of fat. All of that good stuff. So hopefully y'all stay tuned. And that video is going to be coming to y'all shortly. And that's pretty much it, man. Again, I want to thank everybody uh, that supported me. Like again, like I, blah, blah, blah. like I said, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And hit that little notification bell, man. I'm about to get up out of here, enjoy the rest of my day off. Y'all take it easy.